We are here at the Nutana Legion now with Doug and Sylvia Power, who have a very incredible story that I, I just love and I, and I can't wait to hear more about. Joined now by Doug, and you, you got involved with the military in an interesting way. No, I, I was volunteer. I joined in Halifax mm -hmm. in February 1943, and then I was sent for advanced training, or basic training at Sorrel, Quebec, advanced training in, Cape, in um, Camp Borden, and then I was sent overseas. So was that something that you had wanted to do, or is that something that just sort of it, it yes, happened? I want, no, I wanted to do that. So. You wanted to be involved. And so you, you went overseas, and, and what happened there? Well, I was sent to a holding unit, and then from there I was sent to number eight Canadian General Hospital. And, and uh, I was with them until then we got ready to we get ready to go overseas to France, and we had to stencil all our equipment. And uh, while we were there, while there was in the depot, there was some of the ATS girls were there too, and Sylvia happened to be one of them. I was in the Ordnance Corps, mm -hmm. and they came to our. Um, department to get all their equipment to go to the continent. So that's how we met. That's a w incredible. So you two met, and and then what happened? You you fell madly in love. I I guess so. Sixty six years. I'm still trying to make up my mind. <laughs> um, but uh, yes, you went to the over right after D Day, and um, set up the hospital there, and we corresponded. So then as soon as he got his first leave, he came back to see me. And everything happened from then on. Yes, yeah, so he came back to see you and you were married in England. Yes, Doug's from Nova Scotia. Mm -hmm. So I came with on a war bride ship. And uh, three months after we were married, I had to wait. Three months seemed like eternity. Mm -hmm. And uh, actually yesterday was the anniversary of the day I left England. Wow. and. Uh, so I landed in Halifax, and that's where we lived and raised our family there. Can you explain what that, what that journey was like on a war bride ship? Uh, it was cold, mm. sunny, full of young ladies who were in the same position that I was in, all dying to get here. And um, what well, wasn't very exciting. Mm -hmm. We had two movies and one record that we played the whole time. It took nine days to come over. I think every war bride will have the same story. The first thing they noticed was the white bread. <laughs> wow, the things that, that you miss when you're, when you're there. How long were you involved in that? In the army? Yes. Uh, two and a half years. But I grew up, I was born in London and grew up in London, so mm -hmm. I was there all that time. And so she had her journey here, but what was it like seeing her arrive in Canada? <laughs> Hard to explain. <laughs> Very excited and waiting for her to come up out of the ship at the top of the, the ramp. His father and his sister were there mm -hmm. to meet me. And up until that point, um, you had seen him in uniform only? Is oh, that yeah. that He only had a uniform. So did I. Yeah. And then finally you see each other as just as two, two people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and you have a son now, yeah? We have six boys, oh, wow. and one, six boys and one daughter. Okay, one of whom is here. That's where, that's where yes. I got the one from. Yes. And what would you, I mean, we're here today to celebrate <laughs> veterans. And what, what is it like seeing now such a young generation of veterans coming, coming back home? Um, it's hard to imagine that we were that young. Mm -hmm. it all, and yet, on the other hand, it seems like yesterday. Mm -hmm. And here we are, old. But, you know, when you stop and think of it, at least we had a chance to live the rest of our lives and a lot of people didn't. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you so much for, for your service, both of you. And re I really enjoyed your story and thank you so much. And stay with us, there's more. We remember Saskatoon.